Got my tools out. I just got these uh, spark plug wrenches. So I got the short one right here. And then I got the long one right here. They're the same size. One is just the long one, one is the short one. So. <clears throat> so. I came in a motor start and I took off just four screws. It's one, two, three, four. And then you lift up the whole bucket. But once you take those four off, you take these off. It's real easy. Now, I got the spark plug. The spark plug is right here. The cables, cables right here. Already pulled it off. And um, when I when I put the wrench in there, it seems like it fits. Like it seems like it fit. And then I turned it, and it seemed like it got loose, but I'm not too sure if it's, I'm not too sure if it's, oh, uh, I'm not too sure if it's, oh, that one fits, I can tell right away. That one fits, okay. But the thing is, how the hell am I going to turn this? How am I gonna turn that? The holes right here, for example, you can, I knew I could do this and turn it, but it's too deep in there. So, let me see if, let me put the screwdriver and see if there's a way that I can, <clears throat> that I can see there's a way that I can make it work. The thing is, the thing here is that I have this, this is super close. This is, this is like the line. I don't know if it's a fuel line or what, but this one is really close. So, it seems like, it seems like this is not gonna work in this situation. This is not gonna work. So this is the side that fits. Let me turn this. This is the side that goes in. And this is the out. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna make it work on the other side. This is just not. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is not good. No. Chain down. The best way of is. the spark plug maybe taking this off but I don't see a I don't see a way maybe by maybe I have to take all this <clears throat> maybe let me see 